Hi, this is William from New Zealand again. Um, this is another project that I've been working on for a year or a year or two. Um, as you can see, it's a missing leaf generation two. And what I've done is we've um, repacked, reconfigured the modules back into the original case. Um, so it can be sort of easily mounted against the wall or maybe even on a floor under something um, and then connected with the original cable and the original fuse, center fuse of it. Um, the one you can see in the picture we actually connected for somebody. We've done it, it was one that I did for a client and that was connected to the Solar X system as configured as for a 48 volt. Um, it has its advantages, um, it's neat, doesn't take up space and the other thing of course is that it remains very much airtight and waterproof so it does take a bit of fiddling there was um, a fair number of buzz bars that we had to tailor make um, but I've made templates for all of these and we actually looked at possibly supplying kits for them in the future because one can open the pack the modules obviously have to come out and be reconfigured into a different um, configuration because in the pack themselves they um, all in series which is, um, is about 380 volts and obviously they just loosened we haven't moved any of them except for the back stack we've removed a few um, and brought it down to it's about um, 20 kilowatt hours out of the 24 19.5 I think exactly but it took a bit of fiddling we've it, it's come out pretty neat at this stage it's yeah we haven't tried to decorate the outer case at all but it's um, we've got it mounted against the wall the one you see in this picture has actually been running we've had it running for um, well the date I think was built mid last year so in three months time it'll be a year doesn't have any balancing in it whatsoever um, we've checked the balancing twice on it and the balancing is as accurate as a hundredth of a volt between any of the stacks the solar x inverter which is also one of the SKTLs with a hundred amp charger um, that's uh, the obviously the inverter controls the charge the upper charge level and the lower discharge level of it which that particular one is set at about 48 lower level and 57 upper level and it's been working superbly it's on it's um, operating in a system with um, I think it's about uh, these it's 16 panels so it's about four it's about i think those it was just over four kilowatts of panel in a four bedroom house and it's been doing pretty well uh we don't have the most sun hours in new zealand yeah i think we pretty much on the lower level of sun hours but um it's been operating the house it does run out in the early hours of the morning depending but it's it's been pretty durable and yeah i'm intending to build more of these in the future I'll also put up some more details. I've got templates and everything for all the buzz bars, so we may supply a whole kit just for the battery. Thanks for now. Check later. Bye.